A precious and long forgotten piece of our city's history has been uncovered in Darlinghurst. Heritage workers have peeled away layers of plaster in the Burton Street Tabernacle to reveal a magnificent ornate timber ceiling handcrafted in the 1880s. They got to the old tabernacle just in time. 130 years of use and abuse had brought the enormous old building to the edge of disaster. Now the City Council is spending more than $6 million to bring it back. It would have been a great loss to Sydney. Until just after the Second World War, it was home to a thriving Baptist congregation and famous as where Arthur Stace, the man who wrote Eternity on the Footpath, chalked his first messages. It's a, such a significant building now in Sydney that uh, it deserves the preservation it's getting. As times changed, many of the ornate stained glass windows vanished. The interior of the huge central dome was covered in plaster, and as that was slowly removed, a stunningly beautiful handcrafted wooden ceiling began to reappear. I've not known of any other building that has a ceiling like this, um, so it's very rare. So rare, the only similar ceilings are in medieval Scandinavian halls. Since the 1960s, Sydney has lost far too much of its important architectural heritage. Restoring this tabernacle is going a long way to fixing some of the damage done. Its future, probably a theatre. Its size and acoustics are just right. Peter Harvey, National 9 News.